Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done this. I'm a little late on my August boxes, so happy Labor Day. Um, I have a few unboxings to do for you guys today that will be August boxes, which a lot of the stuff you've already seen, some of it might be a little bit different than other people's unboxings, so you know, it is what it is, and this is how we're going to do it for right now. I've uh, been a little delayed with family activities, friend activities, and work, so, you know. For this one, we're gonna do BoxyCharm. And everybody's seen all the stuff that's been in BoxyCharm, and for the ones that actually like to watch me, then here you go. You got your BoxyCharm video. Um, if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, then you haven't been on YouTube very long because it is everywhere. But $21 a month subscription. Um, it comes with full size products and they're usually not too bad. Sometimes you see variations in products and you're like, ooh, I want that. And that is not what you get in your box. But then there's sometimes you're like, oh, I got it. But you know, I'm not that lucky. So I see some lucky ones out there and I'm a little salty sometimes, but I'm happy they get to try it out and they can tell me how they liked it, so. All right, the first thing I see in my box, which it does come with a product card, is the Moda Pro three-piece brush set. And it's by Royal and Lang Nickel, and it retails for $26. And mine, of course, is a little dirty because I tested them out just like literally 10 minutes ago. And it comes with, what's this? This is a BMX 250 chisel brush and it's got like this little quilted edge, little tapered edge. Um, the con or the bronzer contour situation I used with it, you want to use another brush after this because uh, Blending out, it still has a little bit of a harsh line, but it could be just me. You know, it could be user error, which I kind of don't doubt, but you know. Uh, it also comes with the BMX 130 pointed brush. They're very soft. I kind of had to use this to help blend out the blush that I used, which you'll see the blush later on. In one of the other boxes, which I've used makeup, basically about 80% what's on my face came from the unopening boxes that I'm going to be unboxing for you today. And I kind of, this would be good for your powder and stuff, at least for me. I don't use what they say they're for. Like this is supposed to be for blush. I, I use it for whatever feels comfortable for me. Which there's a lot of people out there like that so yeah and it also came with the bmx 430 crease brush and it's still soft it went too bad blended everything in my eye so it's pretty good and it, all of them have that quilted edge to them now the waterproof Gel Eyeliner by Bella Pierre it retails for $15. I did not open it up and I'm not going to open it up to swipe it. I do have a lot of black eyeliners. I would like to get through some of them, though I would like to know if this one is good. So if anybody's ever used this Bella Pierre Cosmetic Gel Eyeliner in Ebony Number no. 2, let me know. Because if it's horrible, then yeah. I'll get rid of it, but you know, for now, it's staying wrapped up, and when it comes time to use that, I will use it. Let's see. I did not use these. I don't know how to put these on. I wish I had somebody here who could actually just show me how to do these, because I would. I'm really curious. I've got a whole bin up there full of fake eyelashes. I, I don't know what to do with them. I don't know how to put them on. I don't know how to do any of that. So we've got the Pro Eyelashes by Pure 
3D cruelty free Lux lashes up to 30 wears. I've seen some YouTubers say they would not wear these 30 times, but you know, that sounds kind of cool. I mean, save you some money. They got, they look like that. And it says the full retail price for them is $14. And it looks like I have a Tarte High Performance Naturals $10 off orders over 60 plus on Tarte.com. And I still have a few days to use it. It's over from 9, 15, and 17 if I decide to use it. You know what? There's a good chance I'm not. So there you go. If you like to order stuff off of Tarte, there is the promo code for it, Boxy August. Go ahead and use it, and there you go, 10 bucks off. And of course, because of that, we did get The Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 by Tarte. Retail price is $36. And it's supposed to be a crease-free eyeshadow palette. I don't know. I just put it on not too long ago. Outside of the box looks like this, really cute. But the inside, case is even cuter. That's that's adorable. I like it. And back is just kind of shiny. Yeah, it's a pretty big compact. And it comes with a mirror. And there's your colors. Now I did put this one I put this one all over my eyelid, this one above my crease, in my crease on the outer edge and this one right here on my eyelid and I also use this one underneath my bottom lashes and it's cute there was some fallout but you know with any eye or eyeshadow you're gonna have fallout it just wasn't too bad it wasn't bad at all I mean oh dear god that should have been blended a little bit more Y'all should have been catching that. Okay, some of the colors need a little bit more extra blending. The lighter colors, you gotta kinda build it up, which is not bad. It's a cute little case. And the last thing that's in my boxy charm is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is the hashtag Girl Power Liquid Lipstick Matte. It's matte and it's in date night. They always have like little cute boxes. I've had Girl Power one before and I think I actually went through it in one of my lipstick clutters and actually got rid of it because of the color. It's not bad. It, that's just one coat that was one swipe going around. Wasn't bad. But their containers are always really cute. Like they got these little lips on here. It's frosted glass. regular little doe foot. If I put my hand actually in front of it, that would be great. And their stuff always smells like vanilla, so it's not bad. It's not tacky. It don't feel really dry. I mean, you could probably build up the color a little more, but I do have another box that has lipstick in it that I'd like to try out, and I don't want to be scrubbing at my lips today. No, thank you. So that is all I got in my box. All in all, it wasn't a bad box at all. I just hated having it sit back on the shelf until I had time to open it. So there it is. Um, if you got BoxyCharm, if you got anything different, let me know down below too. Because I am kind of behind on watching my other YouTube videos from people. I'm sorry. I've just been kind of busy and we're going to fix that situation really, really quickly. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm getting closer and closer to that giveaway. Um, and I will see you guys in a little bit. If you really want to watch any of these other unboxings, I'd really appreciate it. Throw on a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you guys later. Bye!